Welcome to the Sustainability Nugget Podcast. I am Rara Sue and And I'm Tosin Falorosho. On this podcast, we learn about sustainability by discussing various related topics while focusing on three pillars, the economy, the society, and the environment. Hi. Welcome to another episode of Sustainability Nugget Podcast. Um, it's nice to be outside today. So, as you might have noticed, whenever Raraswa and I record together, we are always on Zoom, and that's because we are in different states. I am in, based in California, and Raraswa is in Florida, so we're always on Zoom. But today is going to be just me here in California, and um, this is a vlogging session. This content will actually be a part of the waste series, and we are exploring fashion. Hey. <laughs> so we're doing fashion because, um, as you may be aware, the fashion industry is one of the major contributors to the growing waste problem that we have um, all over the world. And so I am about to show you a cool space where they actually recycle textile waste and actually all other sorts of waste, you know, and try to practice a circular economy. The building you see behind me is actually where we are going. It's called Remainders Creative Space. It's a creative reuse space and thrift store where they recycle thousands of pounds of textile waste um, and other art supplies into really awesome products. They also, they collect donations of all of these items and um, either resell them or use them within the space. So come with me. So I am meeting with Toban. Toban is the education director of this space. Um, hi, Toban. Hi. <laughs> um, and you'll be telling more, uh, us more about this space and giving us a tour of the space as well. Here's our space. So right now we're in the uh, creative space upstairs at Remainders. 3,000 square foot creative space. Sorry. And uh, what you see first here is the sewing area for all of our sewing classes, embroidery, any sort of quilting classes all take place here in this area. Um, and behind me, you see we're in a little bit of a we're in the process of moving these around, so excuse mm -hmm. the way it looks, but also it kind of always looks this way. So <laughs> there's that. So our sewing area with the sewing machines and all the supplies behind us and sewing books leads over into our visual arts space where we do all of the painting classes, sculpture classes, you know, any sort of like collage classes, clay classes all take place in this area. We have all of our supplies along this wall. And all these supplies are also like donated. Yes. It's a lot. Everything is done. Look at those I see drawers. pencils, markers, <laughs> brushes. <laughs> Rulers. <laughs> like, look at how many, there's like three, glue. there are four glue sections. There's like four or five glue okay. drawers, yes. Wow. Um, and paint, we have everything. We've got it all. You know, like I said, the motto is it's here somewhere, yeah. and, it, and it is. <laughs> um, so then this is where our wood shop is going to be. It's still sort of being put together right okay. now, but this is going to be wood shop. You can kind of see it looks wood shopish. <laughs> Um, and then this is our sort of office space, also a little bit in transition. <laughs> and along here is our um, our little reference library. Okay. Not little. We have a lot of books. It's a lot of books. Yeah. Of <laughs> but again, it's a little. We're, we're moving it around. So, <laughs> so this is the reference library where we have all these books that you can use to look up things and be inspired. And then this is empty right now, but this is our gallery space, and it will have a new show up in just a few weeks Ooh. with artists. Um, yeah, so we show we have a gallery space. We show we have shows, we have student shows. It can be rented if you want to have some sort of pop up, or it can be rented for a month for a show yourself. Like it's a really nice space that we try to like utilize in this way, and we have really fun openings here too. 
That's but, really cool. Yeah, so this is the creative space. I think, let me grab my keys and I'll okay. go downstairs. Come on down and see our creative thrift store. Yeah. So we're gonna go in at the top level. Yeah. You would normally enter from the bottom. But you get a good view from here. So if you around the corner, you'll see your first glimpse of our creative thrift store. Take a look. <laughs> so this is our 3,000 square foot creative thrift store where we sell fabrics, art supplies. We have a boutique. Any kind of craft supply you need, art supply you need. So it's Lots of fabric. Let's see. Let's go down and take a look. Okay. So here's where we process a lot of the stuff. Everything comes in this way and gets processed to go out of the floor. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> and then this is our fabric section and cutting table. This is where, yeah, this is, you'll see even more. This yeah, this is all, they're all organized by color and type. And you can see that there is a ton of fabric. So to imagine that all of this, all of this was donated, it could have thrown away. away. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then this goes down into our sort of yarn and notions and any sort of trim that you need. Yarn, crochet, maybe. Some large section. And then that leads into the um, arts and crafts. Okay. And also party decor. You know, we get a lot of stuff. We use what we get. Down this aisle, you'll see how deep it goes. Yeah. This is all sort of like office supplies and printing and scrapbooking, and it leads back into the fabric. Yeah, so this is in my apron for class. So I wanted to get a new apron to start off this teaching semester with the kids. And I was gonna buy one and I saw some that were cool and I just, you know, they were kind of expensive and I thought, well, I can just make an apron. Anyway, this apron was white. It was from the science class. They had studied the sort of like, you know, the esophageal tract and the, and the oh, yeah? intestines. And so someone had painted the intestines onto this white apron and I thought it's so weird but it's cool and so I decided to take it rather than leave it for the students right. <laughs> and then I dyed it green and then I attached some other fabric to make it? pockets wow. it didn't have pockets I needed pockets here and one up here I and love then the I, buttons on the pockets yeah <laughs> yeah and so then I do a sweatshirt remix class at, here at Remainders that is all about sort of like taking old sweatshirts and you know okay. turning it into something else and so mm -hmm. I had started putting patches on sweatshirts that I own and like, was really into it and really liked it and people were really loving it and so I decided that we should make it into a class. So with this apron I was like, oh, we'll do the, I'll do the same thing, I'll put patches on it, it'll be fun and so that's why it looks the way it looks. <laughs> well, <it's laughs> these are all patches. Really Most of these are from Remainders. This one was mine and these are from some that I had but the rest of these are from here at Remainders which I thought this was really good for cool. school. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So this is my apron for the fall. Nice. That has so far gotten a big response. I have an apron that I want to upcycle, so <laughs> this is inspiring. Here you go. <laughs> Do this. I, and, and so yeah, I'm trying to re-glue this patch. That's okay. why it's here yeah. today, because I'm re-gluing this patch. And so I've been setting the marbling solution on it on to it's flatten okay. it out <laughs> in more reuse fabric. This is the cashier section. This is one of our board members and wonderful volunteers and employees, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Hi. Um, we have jewelry, beads, jewelry kits, buttons. Buttons. Sorry. Lots of buttons. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, and then patterns, a million patterns. 
where we also have some little select nice items that you purchased. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're back into the fabrics. So this is our whole space. Everything processes through this door, runs through and gets put into these bins to go out. So it's categorized into like where it's going to go, yeah. whether it's been priced or not, yeah. and sorted. And then it goes out onto the floor. And our volunteers are amazing at getting it out. Incredible. So all the stuff here like out here? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone here. So doesn't want to <laughs> so is that where fabric is? Yes, this is the fabric cutting. Mm -hmm. This is Susan. She's Hello. Is, she's cutting fabric, which is what happens at this table. This is what happens. What else happens <laughs> here? Uh, lots of great things, a lot of, of great discussions about what to make and how to make it, what kinds of materials. Yeah, it's always nice when someone brings something to say, what are you going to do with this? Yeah. What are you going to make? Right, right. Um, also, Susan herself makes these insanely beautiful aprons. Oh, thank you, thank I'm surprised you. you're not wearing one today. Uh, it's too hot. Do you have yeah. any samples here? Yeah, they're back uh, oh, on the, they're okay, hanging up on the rack. I'll show you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is fun. Like. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, there's some really great ones here. So we've got oh, this is so nice. is good for is that you know some of our volunteers make things you're like well let's sell them yeah. here you know that kind of stuff you know, that yeah. fabric oh look it's at like, that okay. uh dutch yeah dutch uh, fabric yeah. yeah it's gorgeous that's really pretty look at that <laughs> we also get a lot of donations of like sort of seasonal supplies things Absolutely. that people if they want to get rid of their old halloween decorations or christmas decorations right. we will take them resell them it's nice it's like a great way to just you need to get rid of things, bring it here, don't throw it away. Yeah. You know, that's really what it's about, not throwing it away. We will take it, we'll do something with it. <laughs> this is awesome. Cool. cool. Yeah, well this is it, this is the space. You've seen it all. Yes, you've seen it all. <laughs> Thanks so much for listening to the Sustainability Nuggets podcast. I am Rarsu Maribi. And I am Tosin Falaransho. If you enjoy this podcast, please leave a rating and review on wherever you listen to your podcast. You can also show your support by signing up for a small donation to help sustain future episodes. You can find all relevant links in the description. See you in our next episode.